So a couple days ago, Rivian performed what I think the legal term is a whoopsie and decided that everyone, including people who had reservations for several years, were going to have to pay somewhere between twelve dollars or $20,000 more than they originally thought. And this resulted in a huge uproar. Obviously, I had, like, second-hand frustration because I don't even have a reservation, but hearing the stories and hearing what people were complaining about and how long they were waiting for their orders just to have price hikes this major and all at once was quite frustrating. So RJ sent out an email to everyone and I think overall they're making the right decision but in case you didn't hear it, essentially everyone who had a Rivian reservation before March 1st, which is when these price hikes happened, they're actually going to be honoring the original price points that people agreed to. Fancy that. When you put down a thousand dollars several years in advance, maybe you should actually pay what you were told to pay. And even people who canceled their orders have the option now of re activating them and they don't have to abide by any of the price hikes that were previously mentioned. So I think from a consumer perspective, this is fantastic and it's a wonderful thing because obviously a bunch of people were probably already weighing out their options like should I get a Tesla, should I get an F-150 Lightning, and now after just a couple days they're like okay I can go back to my original plan and I have to pay the agreed upon price which I thought I was gonna pay before and lots of people should probably be fairly happy about that. But this actually doesn't take away most of my concerns concerns for the overall business approach because there were a lot of polls out there and a lot of different news agencies trying to gauge how many Rivian reservation holders were planning on canceling because of these price hikes and most of the polls were alluding to more than half, okay? And the last reservation number that we got from Rivian claimed that they were around 70,000, so that was a few months ago. Maybe they were close to 80,000, but if the polls were an accurate representation of the number of cancellations Rivian was getting, there were close to 60 or 70 percent of those reservation holders backing out on this purchase and I guess the reason I'm still very concerned for the future of the company is that for one they decided that at some point raising prices on everyone was a good idea again that happened it doesn't matter that they're going back on their word now because it meant that they knew there was probably going to be some people canceling and they thought that this was the best course of action to preserve the success of the company and then what's worse about this is that now the cancellations grew so heavily that Rivian probably quickly realized, oh crap, you know, we're gonna lose out on a ton of revenue if over half of our customers are backing out on their purchases, and maybe they realized that the damage they had done by raising the prices was also not ideal, and this was actually going to result in the company losing more money because of how many people weren't willing to go through with their orders. So basically, they created a scenario that ended up being worse than what they thought was going to be a decent chance to success. Now, of course, Rivian is probably not going to acquire the amount of revenue they anticipated because at least for 48 hours there they were thinking at least maybe 50 or 60 thousand of these reservations were going to turn into some kind of revenue for the brand and the situation has also not changed for new orders that's one thing we should preface here if you have not ordered a Rivian R1T or R1S yet the price hikes still apply they have not adjusted any of the new pricing for the dual motor or standard battery pack options those are still incredible expensive and if you want to buy a similarly specced Rivian like the R1Ts that have been delivered so far it's still going to probably cost you well over 80,000 probably closer to $90,000 and that I'm sure is going to taper demand a lot this is particularly just kind of a bad look for the company it's good to see them go back on it I think they probably win a few more points and they'll probably win a few customers back but it's very possible that there's a lot of people that just feel betrayed and they don't know if they can trust Rivian anymore so they may have backed out on their order and now to see RJ flip-flop like this they're like eh that's okay I've already kind of mentally detached and I'm not sure if you're gonna change the pricing on me again so they probably won't get everyone back after this announcement but I do expect a decent number of people that were originally planning to go through with their order are now going to continue to and treat it like business as usual but in the grand scheme of Rivian ramping production these first 60 or 70 thousand orders are not that big a deal. So even if you win over all the people that canceled over the last couple days, you're probably going to have a hard time getting new people to order considering how much worse the specs are and still how high the prices are. People are going to be looking at alternatives and people are going to be realizing, oh, I don't know if I can afford a $90,000 pickup truck.
truck, so I'll take my business elsewhere. But once again, as much as I'm a fan of the product and I want Rivian to succeed, I want them to be able to ramp their vehicles and deliver them to as many people as possible. Seeing big company decisions flip-flop like this on pricing is not good for probably the long-term success of the company because now it means they're not going to be acquiring as much revenue as they thought they needed. That giant price hike that they were so quick to just apply to everyone, they're not going to have that now for a ton of their orders and that might mean they're carrying a tremendous amount of debt into the next quarter and probably not going to recoup enough of the cost. So next earnings report I think will be very very interesting and I'm hoping that they can survive this once again. But for those of you reservation holders who now get your original promised pricing, let me know if you're planning on going through with your order or are some of you out there just so frustrated by the flip-flopping that you're canceling anyway even if the price point is being honored. All that good stuff, let me know what you're feeling down below. Thank you to everyone on Patreon supporting the channel, helping us afford a Tesla that we're going to be taking delivery of probably this summer, and everyone just watching the channel. That seriously helps a ton too. Take care. Have a great day.